Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and how are you doing today? My name is Joey Cool, and I'm here to talk to you about something really quickly. I have not really been making a lot of videos, and you can put this under the not made a lot of videos category, so you can just take this, just throw it away, because it doesn't matter to me. Because, like, there's, like, this chart I saw where it's just like, this is what all videos are of loud, obnoxious gaming, sorry I haven't made content videos, as is one of them. The biggest issue I'm having right now is actually I have no place to record. Right now I have one of the very few times I can record without worrying about bothering anyone who I'm living with. Um, and the other place I can record right now is my friend's house, which luckily he's letting me do that. Though I, I feel like I'm bombarding like, hey, can I use your computer and your room for a while? And it just makes me feel like a little bit of a dick, even though he's fully willing to let me do so. But I, I just want to apologize to you and me. I miss making videos so much that the little times I've been able to edit is just like blowing my mind how fast time is going. And then I try to do the speed art thing, which I have a feeling that if I'm going to do that a lot, that I need to make a separate channel for that because it doesn't fit the gaming motif. You shut the fuck up. And I get worried that I'm not able to draw a basis of people because since I'm not making videos every day and I was never doing it every day, even though I my goal was every day, which I don't know how the fuck I was thinking. Like I had it down for a little while because I had a reliable place of recording, but now I this room is super echoey now because there's so much missing. And by the time I get home at night, I can't record because I don't want to wake anybody up. And uh, when it is between the hours of when I wake up to when I have to go to work, I feel like I'm rushed and I really can't get anything done. And again, I might be disturbing people who are in the house. And um, yeah, that's mainly the reason why I haven't been able to make things. Not for a lack of me not wanting to, though. I really miss it, and I really want to get more practice at it so I can become better, and I want to be able to use my voice more, and I want to be able to make stupid jokes again, and I want to be able to, like, talk to people and comments and the other YouTubers that I used to speak with all the time that life is starting to get in the way, and, like, where things were like, wow, things are starting to work, and then, then one of us fell apart, and then followed by another, then followed by another, and over time, it just felt like we've drifted where at one point me and a particular youtube channel we were talking a lot like we'd skype every now and again we talk via twitter and then again life gets in the way and there was a point where i was getting a bit um confrontational about things because i was going through a rough time myself and it was kind of hard and i was snapping at people left and right regardless of how i felt about them and it was not a good time and I was working with another YouTube channel for a little bit, but it seems that working with them is very few and far between because of my conflicting schedules. I've done a few skits with them, and I've also like helped like hold the sound movies for a while at the YouTube space, which is always fun to go there. Love it there. New York YouTube space. Also, they have a really great cappuccino place right before its golden elevators, and I'm not kidding when I say golden elevators. That's literally what they look like. That's literally the elevators. They're made of fucking gold. <laughs> and I miss it badly. I want to do more. I just need to find a place I can reliably record so I can be loud and obnoxious. Like even now, like no one's home, which is mainly the reason why I'm able to do this without much worry is um, I want to be loud and goofy, but I feel that I'd be annoying. Neighbor, 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 people I live with. And it just deters me from making it because I feel like I'm limiting myself. And if I limit myself, then it won't be any fun for me. And if it's not any fun for me, who the hell is going to watch someone not having fun? Let's be real. Let's be real. And uh, right now I'm trying to uh, record, since I don't have a pop filter anymore, I've literally put a sock on my microphone this is gonna sound terrible because i'm gonna move the microphone but 
That's literally what I'm doing in order to ensure that there's no p s t, which there probably still is because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I just probably fucked up part of the audio. But, you know, I just want to say I miss you guys. And I miss being able to just make videos, even if nobody's watching. I just love making it. It's fun. It's literally my friends, like, when I talk to them, they literally always talk to me about how I never stop talking about you and YouTube and talking about YouTubers I love and what they make me feel, how they make me feel. And I love, like, voice and, like, I can go on for hours about why someone's voice is amazing and why someone else's voice is shitty to me personally, not because their voice is shitty. And, like, I will just drone on for hours about it. And I'm trying to figure out how do I make my passions into a channel like the gaming thing is fun don't get me wrong i enjoy doing it but i feel like there's another video type out there that i'm not trying that would be amazing and this channel i don't want to say is established because 118 subscribers some people are watching which is great and i don't want to make them feel whoever's watching that you know i'm not making content related to joey cool gamings which is literally the banner like I enjoy so much videos like Game Theory. Mainly, I love Game Theory not only because of the content, obviously, but I love how Matt Pat speaks and how he has this announcer-like voice and it just works out correctly and he knows how to get your motor running. And I love that. And I love his editing style. Well, not his editing style, but... Well, he did the editing for a while, then he had other people doing the editing and they're really good because making those type of videos is so complex like I'm sure if we saw a spreadsheet of a video like he said it takes like 80 hours it would be cuts in everywhere it would just be everywhere and fucking mess to look at for anyone who doesn't understand how to like edit videos would be like what am I looking at but and I want to make videos like that are complex and fun to visually watch where I could talk about things and and I'm mm, I'm just spewing at this point. <sighs> so yeah. That's the vlog. <laughs> I don't really know where else to go from there. Um I guess time will tell what happens. I mean, I have vacation coming up and I want to do something so bad with other YouTubers. Because I mean, myself, it's difficult to work by yourself. I mean, if you have the niche, you have the niche, and you're great. But for me, and I, I'm sorry I keep doing that, because I keep noticing the camera, like, this part of my hair is, like, clumped up, and it doesn't want to stay down. As I was saying, I want to work with other YouTubers. And to say the least, I want to work with other people. And it's not just saying, like, oh, you know, I could just find a schmo. Like, anyone in my friends, I could just pick from them. That's, yeah, it's true. But I want to work with somebody who has a similar passion to me, where they focus on things like, you know one of the things I would really love to do? Honestly, truly, I know it's tr I know it's so played out, but one thing I, tr oh my God, I'd love to do, I wanna do an abridged series of something or work with a team that's doing the bridge. Like, I feel like the editing is really hard, but I think I know how to do it based on what I've seen from Team Four Star, because they have like this little behind the scene thing, which is like one of my favorite things because they go in behind the scenes and show you the little techniques that they do and, But yeah, I would love to do an abridged series of what? I don't know. I'm afraid of copyright problems. But, um, you know, I want to try other things. Just not sure exactly what to try. And I'm going to extend that to the comment section down below, which I still think is below. Yeah, it's below. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, so if maybe the person who's watching right now, who's maybe seen one or two of my terrible videos, then try to give me an idea, something to work off of. And obviously I'll show whose idea it was if I do do that because, you know, I, I want this to be a community thing. I want something where I can interact with you guys and girls and dogs. Dogs too. Because it's so much fun. Like I have a, there's a specific person who has been, who literally comments on everything I have, and it, it's Firefan, he, he, right, yeah, it, it, his name is, okay, the name that it shows on Twitter, I will assume is male, so there we go, he's showing so much interest in the things I do, and it really, 
really gets to me because you know granted there's not a lot of people watching but the fact that one person enjoys what I do really means the world to me and I want to do that with other people too you know I would like to be someone's light like others were for me and I want to feel that you know I want to feel that I can help someone through my stupidity and the things I like to do but I feel that maybe I'm just looking in the wrong direction. But I... It's what I want to do. <laughs> and I would love to try to make this a living because my current job makes it very difficult to make videos. And I'm not saying I want to do it for the money because it's definitely not it. Because I'm not making anything, yet I'm still making videos. Because, like, I, even for me, I have a rule of thumb. Like, I don't want to put advertisements on my videos until a certain point because I don't see the purpose. For now, I'm doing this because I love it. And when it gets to a point where I feel that, hey, maybe life can allow me to move forward with this platform that I've created, which I haven't yet, that would be amazing. But I don't want that to be my drive. I want to create, I want to make, I want to make people smile. I want to make people laugh. And it's so difficult to figure out what works. So, I'm just gonna do me, but I would love to see what you guys think would be great to try. Like, give me an idea, like a, a topic, and what kind of like, give me a topic or a word, and I'll try to make something about it. I mean, obviously there's many motifs that a lot of people use, like top tens, documentary style, and did you know, like, which is another one great series, and I'm rambling, there's no point to this. I want to make something great, but I need help. You guys help. If you can supply me with that, that would mean the world to me. So, thank you all for joining me. If you liked what you heard me say, saw what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, you know, let me know anything. Have a conversation. How was your day? Was your day good? Let me know anything. So, thank you. Bye now. Work like a dragon ball Z!